Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you a, a portion of a haul that I did. Um, I'm not going to share everything because I got a lot of stuff. So I'm just moving my light around. So I recently moved to South Carolina and um, in Washington, where I did live. Um, there was a Tuesday morning and it was very, very close to my house. But this one is about a 35, 40 minute drive from my house. So, I uh, don't see me going very often. That being said, when I did go, I got a whole bunch of stuff. And I'm not gonna show you everything because a lot of it's just very kind of, it's, it's the same stuff that you see in most of the Tuesday morning hauls. Um, the reason I'm showing you guys this stuff is because this prompted me to um, create my new series and my next series rather which I got the idea from Miss Gail She has a series where she does um, multiple journals at one time and So I'm gonna kind of take that theory and hopefully <laughs> fingers crossed um, create um, also most multiple journals so um, That being said, I'm gonna show you guys what I got and what made me think about that so I found this is backwards. I found this Bow Bunny Cottontail collection, which I personally I love Bow Bunny paper. Um, their her designs, their designs. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a him or her or a team, but they're really really pretty. And some of them would make really cute embellishments and cover pages. So I'm going to use this. Like this would make a really cute cover page. Um, these would make really cute embellishments. I'm going to hopefully, like I said, fingers crossed, create multiple journals with this. Like this, this is just really cute. Um, <clears throat> so hopefully you guys can see this. I did move my camera a little bit because um, new setup and everything. It's got some tweaking to do, um, but I did move it up a little bit so hopefully the lighting's not so like glary now I hope <laughs> but I was looking back at some of my other videos like that one is really pretty um, but I figured with uh, looking at some of my other videos sorry I go back and forth a lot I don't know if you guys have noticed that yet but um, <clears throat> Some of them, like, they're really glary, and I don't like that. So, um, anyway, I moved the camera. So, um, I got this because the, uh, springtime is coming, hopefully for everyone. But um, I wanted to do some springtime and Easter journals for this, you know, this coming season. So, that's why uh, I got that. So, similarly, I also got the the same collection, but the six by six. Um, so I did open all these up so you guys could see them a little easier. But these would make really good background pieces for embellishments, uh, mats for tags or envelopes or, you know, whatever. So I thought those were cute. There's that. I also got this one, which is also Bow Bunny. This one is the Sweet Moments Collection. Uh, I did not find this one in the 12 by 12, but I did in the six by six, and it's really, really cute. I hope I'm not going too fast, but I know some of the times these flip throughs on the papers can take up a lot of time. And there's this nice big old pack of stuff I got, and I wanted to go through that. Um, I just got some chiffon bags. Um, I got white and cream colored. I just grabbed one to show you. Um, and more bow bunny. Um, let's see if I can just take this one piece out, and that way I can show you guys the one piece. It's the same um, as this one. So I'm just going to take this one piece out and show you guys or not. Okay. Well, apparently I'm going to take all of it out because that's what it wants to do. Um, so that's what is in the collection here. And they're just die cuts, FMR pieces. And I figured they'd 
be really cute for, well, just that, ephemera pieces. Um, so I'm going to flip those back over, hopefully. There we go. I'm just going to set this aside. I'll put it back together off camera. Um, okay. <laughs> anyway, like I said, this one is exactly the same. Oh, don't fall off my desk. All right, stay. Uh, this one is, who is this? Eco Park, Echo Park, Ephemera. It says Easter. Again, I wanted to do journals for um, for the Easter springtime. So I thought that would be really cute. Hi, you guys can see that. That's the little Ephemera pack. And this was $2.19. Um, this one, this one just kind of went with my style. This is Cartabella uh, Metropolitan. Um, it's just kind of like retro looking. And this was $1.99. And then these I thought were really cute because um, I am getting to where I have a lot of fabric, but I'm not quite there. But I thought these were really cute. They're just fabric strips, and it's $1.49. But I liked the colors. I thought that they would uh, mesh really well with, like, the spring theme. So, there's that. I don't know how long they are. Um, it does not say. Uh, it just says, so little time, fabric strips. I don't know if that's the brand or what. I don't know. So there's that and then this is kind of cool because I just watched a video um, Miss Tracy Fox where she was making something what was she making um, oh she was making tags using her new digital kit and um, she tore using a ruler and I was like oh my gosh that is ingenious and then I went to Tuesday morning I didn't I wasn't looking for this but I found it and I was like oh, that's so cool so <laughs> I got it <laughs> Uh, I have no idea what this is. Um, this is... Mm, I have no idea. Um, oh, it says it's a water pen. 12-inch clear rollers with water pen. So, don't ask me what that's for. I don't know. I'll figure something out. Oh, look at that. He wet it. Makes it easier to tear. Ha. <laughs> That's cool. I don't think I'll use that. But I might. I don't know. So this is the really cool thing that I got. This was five bucks. And um, I got two of them, actually. Because I like scraps. Like, I don't know. I like scraps. Okay. Ugh. And I have no idea what's in this, which is the glory of this. Because I just, I don't know. I love opening stuff like this where I have no idea what it is. It's just random stuff. And when I saw this in conjunction with the Bow Bunny papers, I was like, mmm, got to do the journals. So, oh, I'm not sure I'm a big fan of that one. That's shedding. It's pretty, but it's shedding. Uh, so this is good stuff, assorted weights and sizes, scrap paper. Um, architectures is... Um, what this is from seven gypsies and oh i like that brand too see i didn't even realize it was seven gypsies because the this was kind of buried that's cool i like that all right so we've got some black cardstock which actually feels weird like i wish that you guys could feel this but i mean they're thick like that's one piece but it feels really cool. Oh, and they are different sizes. Look at that. Well, it said they were different sizes. Huh, that's cool. Um, some paper. Um, it's like got a texture on it though. I don't know if you guys might be able to see that. Yeah. So that's cool. Ooh, fabric. Uh, canvas. This is just some cloth canvas, but it's got a pattern on the side, which is really cool. Um, that'd be a really interesting pocket, you think? Um, let's see. Some more papers. Come here. 
Uh, these also have textures on them. This might be watercolor paper. I'm not sure. Might have to play with that. Um, oh, those are pretty. Uh, oh, some more of that canvas. Oh, ooh, that's tissue paper. Oh, that's cool. That's tissue paper. Oh, very neat. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. <laughs> I like that. Um, I have no idea what fabric this is. It's like, you know what it feels like? It feels like homemade paper. That's what it feels like. Like, can you guys see that? It's got a zebra print on that side. Hey, you don't go anywhere. Sorry, my tissue paper was going away. Ooh, pretty. Oh my gosh, that's even more tissue paper. Oh my gosh, look how pretty. That, and look how much. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That is amazing. Ooh, you could wrap stuff up with that. Oh. Or you could fling it all over the thing. You could also treat tissue paper just like you do napkins when you decoupage stuff. So there's that. Some paper strips. That's cool. I have no idea what this is, but oh, I think it's a sticker. That's neat. That's cool. Oh, it may not be a sticker. I just saw it come off the paper. I don't think it is. I think it's just one really, really big die cut. That's cool. Ooh, burlap. Look at that. That's neat. It feels like um, this was like stamped on it. It feels like rubbery almost. And there's two of those. Some more paper. Some more paper. Some more paper. Oh, that's some more of that black paper that's like really fun feeling. Uh, I'm gonna have to figure out something out to do with that because that's like, it's really cool. Like it feels so smooth. It's like silky. Oh, that's neat. Another giant die cut thingy. That's pretty. Hmm. Ooh, more tissue paper. Very big tissue paper. Oh, that's neat. This again feels like that, like, I don't know, like wood grain. Can y'all see that? Um, oh, I bet that would be good um, if you take a, an ink thingy like this and go ch -ch 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 all over it. Oh, I bet that'd be fun. Here's that. Ooh. Whoa, what is that? I wonder if that's like heating, bonding fabric stuff. I wonder. I wonder if that's adhesive. As I'm sitting here playing with it. My nails are not sharp enough to get up underneath it. Oh, I hope my head's not in the middle of the camera. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, I'll, I'll mess with that in. Sorry, I'm still messing with it. Um, ooh, that's, got, that's felt. That's neat. That would make an interesting cover. Not necessarily for my spring and Easter theme, but still an interesting cover. Uh, cardboard. Uh, but this is like, this is like cardstock. It's not, it's not very thick at all. Um, giant paper. Ooh, that's pretty. Some of those. This is just scrapbook paper, it feels like. Yeah, that's just scrapbook paper. It's 
pretty though. Ooh. Oh, it looks like um like kind of like rusted metal. Oh, there's a lot of that one. Figure out something to do with that. Hmm. It'd be interesting to figure something out to do with that. Oh wait, what is this? Oh wait. Um It looks like this is, that's funny. This is a bunch of labels. Like, um, you know how when you get packs, um, you've got like your label sheet, um, like this, like this is your label sheet. That's what this is, but there's a bunch of them. Huh, that's kind of cool. I'm actually kind of wanting to open the other one too. I want to see if it's the same stuff. take some more of that tissue paper man so honestly just the fact um so i spent five bucks on it and um i got this one because of this because i saw this it says friends don't let friends do stupid things alone <laughs> i thought that was really cute so that's why i got this pack um so there's some more of that black little tiny there's pretzels and peanuts that's cute Oh, that's cool. Oh, there's a couple of those. That's cool. You see that? Oh, look how pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, oh, there's more. Oh, yay. Oh, um, okay. We're gonna have to figure something out with this glitter stuff. I'm gonna have to like figure out a way to seal it or something. Because I don't, I don't do my nails myself. Like I go get them done, so I don't really have fingernail polish. Um, I got rid of all of my fingernail polish, and um, so I might have to go get some clear fingernail polish just so I can seal that. That or, ooh, I wonder if I could mod podge over top of it. Maybe some more of this black paper that's just really cool. Um, oh, this is. This is interesting feeling. It's like the black paper, but smoother. Like, it's not quite as shiny and smooth as, like, photo paper, but it's really smooth. So, a stack of that. More tissue paper. Yeah, this was so worth my five bucks. Because look at all this tissue paper I got. This is amazing. I like tissue paper. <laughs> I'm weird. More of the giant die cuts. Um, there's another one of the burlap pieces. Some more of the rectangle shaped card stocks. Put those two together. Oh, this is in a bag in its own. Oh, that's another die cut piece. Some more tissue paper. Yay. This is pretty tissue paper too. That's nice. Some more of the wood piece uh, paper or fabric or whatever this is. Not sure what this is. Can you see that? Uh, some more of this fabric stuff. Oh my gosh, that's really cool. I got one, two, three. I got four pieces in this one. That's awesome. Um, I got a couple pieces of the craft cardstock in this one. Got some more of the rust paper in this one. And last but not least, I got a piece of, I have no idea what this is. Um, this feels like really, really, really thick homemade paper. Like, I have no idea if you'd even be able to fold this. Eh, maybe. Oh, that might make an interesting cover. Like, decorate it up. Ooh, I could use that. That's cool. Okay, well, that's it. Um, so, yeah, that's it. Uh, I did go to the thrift store, picked up some sheets and uh, pillowcases and curtains and such for some scrap fabric. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much my shopping trip for the day. Um, I did go to Dollar Tree. This is, like, the fourth Dollar Tree in a row that I've been to because I'm looking for blades. I have... This is what I have left on this one. Like, that's it. And as you can see, I, I definitely need to break it because it's got like goop or whatever right there. 
but I don't want to break it because I have one blade left and I can't find these anywhere. Like I've been to four different Dollar Trees in my area and I can't find them. I'm, I'm sad because I love these knives. Um, but anyway, that's why I went out that and Tuesday morning. Um, but alas, they did not have them. They didn't even have like any of the utility knives. I was very sad. But anyway, uh, that's it. And I will start my new series with the, um, the multiple journals. I'm not sure exactly the process that I'm going to do with it, but that will be my next series to come. And I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I anticipate it will be fun. So thank you guys so much for watching and until next time. Bye guys.